welcome to Lori and Gary's Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas Cruise. I'm doing something I've never done for our YouTube videos before and I'm going to do this in voiceover. So this cruise left from New Jersey and went to Bermuda, St. Martin, Puerto Rico, and Labadee, Haiti. We chose it because it was our anniversary and for our honeymoon we had gone to Bermuda. So because the ship was stopping in Bermuda, we decided to take it. I will say we were a little disappointed upon entering the ship. There was hardly anyone to greet us. They just kind of sent us to the muster station and then we went and grabbed a snack. My parents were on the cruise too. Open the door? Yes. For the first time? No, not that way. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, the light is blinding. So this is a quick cabin tour. Gary will start the tour. Um, we just walked into our room. We have some closet space here. It's a pretty big closet. Should be good. All right, coming around, we have the bathroom. Gary's gonna turn the light on. I think it's it's a pretty standard cruise ship bathroom. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of like a nice design up there. Yeah, it is. It looks very. It's a nice design too. It looks cool. Yeah, it's a nice bathroom. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Nice uh, full mirror here. See that? Nice full mirror. Nice full mirror. Another nice mirror right Another here. Another nice mirror. Yeah, um, yeah. Actually, this is this whole like little TV. workstation is nice. TV, that, look at this. TV that folds this way. Yeah, folds TV that folds that way. that way. That's cool. A nice big queen bed. That's good. That's a king bed. Oh, and then our balcony. Yeah. Balcony right here. Yeah. Which is a nice size. I love it. Oh, and that's New York City. Cool. We're at Chops, We're at Chops. Um, Casual second lunch. Casual second lunch. We yeah. just boarded. When we first got here, we had a small snack, a couple of pieces of pizza, some rolls, and some uh, um, wraps. Couple yeah, of wraps. wraps. Mm. So side note, on this cruise, we did get the unlimited dining package because we are both superfood snobs. There's Lori getting ready to eat her. Wild mushroom soup. Wild mushroom soup with truffles. Yeah. Take a bite, Barry. Oh, thank you so much. You want some pepper, Gary? Oh, gazpacho. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, gazpacho. How is it, babe? It's amazing. What do you think, baby? This is this key lime pie is amazing. I know. It's the best key lime pie I've ever had. I can't wait to eat mine. Wow. Here is an overview of Chops for you, and there are two other specialty restaurants on the ship, Giovanni's Table and Izumi the Sushi Restaurant. Gary, do you see something in the background? I see, wait. Yeah. I see New York City. I, I, I think you see the Verrazano Nero Spring. The what? The Verrazano Nero Bridge. Are you talking about the Verrazano Nero Bridge? That's what I mean. The Verrazano Narrow Bridge. Here it comes. Verrazano Narrow. Verrazano Narrow. Verrazano Narrow Bridge. Oh, sing it again, please. The Verrazano Narrow Bridge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Verrazano Narrow Bridge. No! <laughs> Our narrow bridge. I see the moon behind it. There was my own narrow bridge. But on our way. You're gonna, you're gonna hit your head, baby. Baby, it's coming up. You're gonna hit your head. Oh my god. Oh my god. Duck. 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 So as a gift, a while back I had gotten Gary a couple's massage with me so I could benefit. <laughs> so we went to the spa the first day for our massage. Our massage therapists were great. Um, there was a little confusion with the check-in process where we didn't know we were supposed to fill out some forms, but overall it was a good experience. The hallway seems a little crowded, so we're gonna do the outfit of the day here. Da, 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 this is the outfit of the day. Da, 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 da. We just got through having a 
couple's massage. It was fantastic. You look so, great, honey. So we did eat at the main dining room our first night. It's gorgeous. So the ship holds 3,835 passengers. We were told there was only 2,300 passengers on our specific cruise, but it did feel kind of crowded. We, of course, got the escargot. It's our favorite thing on all of Royal Caribbean. We love it. So that was me showing you all my formal night outfit. For formal night, we went to Giovanni's table, and let me tell you all, it was fantastic. We had never been there before, and we're pleasantly surprised about how much we loved it. After dinner on formal night, we saw one of the main stage shows, Invitation to Dance. Now, before this cruise, we had watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and some people had complained about how the shows were out of date and old-fashioned and they didn't like it. Well, I'm here to tell you all, we are here for it. Gary and I loved the shows. Uh, the dancers were fantastic, the costumes were beautiful, the set was nice to look at, the singers had gorgeous voices. I mean, what more can you want out of the show? We enjoyed this way more than some of the 90 minute to two hour full length musicals we saw on some of our other cruises. So maybe we're old fashioned, but we thought the entertainment was fantastic. The first stop for us was Bermuda. We were supposed to go on a catamaran excursion here, but it got canceled due to mechanical problems. And thank God, because we ended up getting this beach excursion and it was amazing. They drove up only 10 of us to the other side of the island. It was a full tour to get there, and then it was just 10 of us at this private beach. We got a free meal included, and the meal was fantastic. And we just spent the day here. It was gorgeous, stunning. The last time we were on our honeymoon cruise in Bermuda, we spent three days there, and we had done the caves, the zoo, and horseback riding. And I will tell you, the horseback riding was great. This beach excursion was great. Don't ever do the caves. It was boring. And it's slightly breaded. <laughs> hey, babe. Sure you need this. We got our famous meat mall at Giovanni's table. I'm going to eat the little leaf on top. It's crispy, isn't it? Babe? It's good. Now is as good a time as any to talk a little bit about the design of the ship. It was kind of weird. There was some modern stuff, but then also old fashioned stuff, like this art, for example, placed throughout the ship. The ship was originally completed in 2001, but underwent a huge refurbishment in 2016. For such an old ship, it did feel pretty modern. We have been cruising the mega cruises lately, Oasis of the Seas, Norwegian Breakaway, but the ship felt pretty big, probably the biggest, smallest ship we've ever been on. The beautiful St. Martin. All right, please don't come at me today. I am always disappointed by St. Martin. It looks beautiful, you think you're gonna have a great time, but every time we buy an excursion, we always seem to be disappointed. We did a beach excursion, I forget exactly what it was called, but there was a ton of hagglers on the beach. We were interrupted nonstop, we couldn't relax. It was dirty, um, not the best day, Still nice to get off the ship. Uh, we do like the area right off the ship. It's a fun place to shop. But we were happy when the day was over and we were back on board headed to Puerto Rico. I had every intention of purchasing us an excursion in Puerto Rico, but nothing looked appealing to us. We ended up just walking around by ourselves for hours. We ate mafango at a really good restaurant. Uh, we took a lot of pictures at points like these. 
Puerto Rico is just the best cruise ship stop to do your own thing. Also, side note, Adventure of the Seas is the only ship I've ever been on that opens up their helipad to passengers. So we went to the helipad for the sail away from Puerto Rico and it's super windy, but it was really cool to be there. You had great views of everything. Uh, so if you ever do an Adventure of the Seas cruise, go to the helipad for the sail aways. And always a crowd pleaser, this ship did have an ice show. We saw another ice show on Oasis of the Seas. This was very comparable. I would say the Oasis of the Seas ice show was a little grander, but everyone loves an ice show. Go see the ice show. And last stop for us on this cruise, Lobbity Haiti, which is kind of like Royal Caribbean's private island, even though I don't think it's an island, it's just part of Haiti. Now I'm gonna level with you all. We had done Perfect Day at Coco Cay on our last cruise and literally had the best day ever. We did not like this quite as much, but we did do the zip lining, which was spectacular, and they don't have anything like the zip line at Coco Cay. With the zip line, they start you out on this baby zip line for practice before they bring you up to this huge zip line that goes from the top of this mountain down to, it feels like almost the ship, although it's not the ship. The views from up there were incredible. We took a ton of photos. You'll see in a sec, look at that. I wish I could have gotten a little closer right here. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's worth it just for the view alone. If you go to Labadee, Haiti, definitely do the zip line. Unless you're afraid of heights, then do not do the zip line. I actually am a little scared of heights, but I made Gary go first, and since he lived, I went afterwards. Let's watch him as he zip lines away on the big zip line. Now, some of you may ask why we did not like Labadee as much as we liked Coco K. And I'll say a couple of things. One, the music was so loud, there was bands everywhere. We couldn't escape the noise. And two, the food was not as plentiful. Those were the two major things. All right, time for a little walkthrough tour. I believe this is deck four, if I recall. Uh, first we see Schooner's Bar, Schooner's Bar, is that what it's called? Yes, um, so I'm walking through that area. Gary and I don't really go out to drink a lot. Uh, we're very much just like hang out on our cruise ship balcony, maybe go by the pool, go see the shows and go out to dinner. One thing we are definitely not is gamblers, but I'm gonna take you for a tour through the casino anyway, since you have to walk through it to get from A to B. The casino had this old Hollywood type of vibe, and I love this. What is this, like a Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers statue thing happening in the middle of it? It was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> So yes, that was the casino, more elements of old Hollywood with these posters. And as you exit the casino, you run into Bolero's, another nightclub we did not frequent. We really tried to avoid crowds on this cruise. Normally, Gary loves to do the karaoke, but we just didn't feel comfortable singing. Again, even though the cruise was operating at only 2,300 people out of 3,800, it did seem pretty crowded. 
We are on the third floor now, and this is the photography studio. And every single cruise, we are always suckered into getting one of those overpriced, expensive photos. And this cruise was no different. We bought, we purchased a twenty-dollar photo of us, and that's Studio B, where the ice shows are. Or sometimes they open it up so you can go ice skating as a passenger. And then going back to one of the upper decks, we have Johnny Rockets, which we did not go to. I think it's stupid to pay extra for something you can have at home whenever you want. And believe it or not, this was our ninth cruise. In all of our nine cruises, most of the cruises have had miniature golf, but this was our first time actually playing miniature golf. It was in the middle of a sea day and we noticed that it wasn't too crowded so we decided to play and it wasn't the most spectacular miniature golf course but we had a lot of fun gary won but that's okay we had a blast saw another variety show on ac day it was rock themed we loved this one too it's only 40 minutes long super enjoyable and now, if you've seen any of our other videos, you know we hate, loathe, and despise the buffet. I woke up early one morning and took some video footage of the buffet for you, my people. Out of the love for my viewers, I came to the buffet. We did not eat here at all on this cruise. On our last cruise, Oasis of the Seas, they still had a lot of COVID safety procedures in effect. They had servers serving you at the buffet. And that made it okay, but this cruise, all of those rules were out the, the door. Um, I don't know how many hands were placed on those tongs before they were used, but it's just not for me. It just did not seem sa sanitary, and it was often way overcrowded. This was the last day of our cruise. I've noticed that the last day of a cruise that goes back to New York is often very gray. This is the solarium. We spent a lot of time here. Even the solarium on this ship was a little too small. It often felt crowded. So wrapping up this vacation, I did want to say we had a blast. There were little problems. Uh, the ship felt a little understaffed. For example, our bathroom broke one day and it took us hours to get in touch with someone to fix it. Uh, hopefully these are just little things happening from the cruise ship industry coming back after COVID. But I do recommend this cruise. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the voiceover aspect of this video. I love hearing your opinions and I hope you get to cruise Adventure of the Seas 2 one day. Happy cruising!